With America finally opening up after two years of COVID restrictions, people are eager to go places and do things. And one of those things is dining out. But how clean are the dishes and utensils you're given to eat with? We put them to the test and Stephen Fabian tells you what we found. That salad looks delicious, but how clean is that fork you're about to put in your mouth? Now that restaurants are springing back to life, it's time to start wondering just how clean are all those dishes and plates. Most restaurants use large industrial dishwashers like this one. They load up their dirty plates and silverware onto trays and then they're cleaned with scalding hot water and commercial grade soap. Now when the process is over, everything comes out sterilized and squeaky clean. But what happens between now and when these dishes and silverware reach your table? Here's the concern. By the time you get your entree, those utensils and plates have been handled by multiple employees. And that can be a potential problem. So we decided to swab some utensils and dishes. From a swanky steakhouse in Rockefeller Center to popular chains like this Applebee's in the heart of Times Square, our producers carefully collected samples. Then we shipped them to IEH Laboratories in Seattle for testing. Four days later... So, doctor, the results are in. Wow, it was pretty bad. We're not talking about just a little bacteria, we're talking about a lot. Dr. Susan Whittier, clinical microbiologist at Columbia University, reviewed the lab's report. I actually have a plate that I can show you really up close if you want to see it. Like it has millions and millions of bacteria. At that Applebee's, this cup we tested had a whopping bacteria count of 2.4 billion. That's billion with a B. And this plate full of mozzarella sticks had a bacteria count of 2.2 billion. Dr. Whittier says that's a concerning amount of bacteria, enough to possibly get you sick. Even more surprising, four of the samples had millions of bacteria that would you normally find in fecal matter or poop. We also tested three samples at Del Frisco's in Rockefeller Center, where the sizzling steaks look delicious. The plate and glass came back clean, but the fork? It tested positive for E. coli. And over at this Olive Garden, the lab detected E. coli growing on the rim of their never-ending salad bowl. It's disgusting because you think you're going to a restaurant to eat and it's going to be cleanly and... It's not. Dr. Whittier says cross-contamination is a major problem. Bottom line, restaurant employees need to do a better job washing their hands. Obviously, you don't want somebody else's bacteria on a fork you're going to be using or a plate you're eating off of. Olive Garden never responded to our request for comment, but Applebee said they received an A grade from the health department and they've corrected any issues from what they call an isolated case. Del Frisco says they're retraining their employees and adding additional procedures to ensure the highest measures of cleanliness. And both restaurants say they are committed to the highest health and safety standards.